Wilson, Mary Catherine Hamm, Brian Neiman, today's newsmakers, and you. The Morning Majority, 630. It is 8.37, just a bit of news that just come in across the, uh, the the wire here. Jobless claims have dropped to, to 395000 That's below the sort of psychologically important number of $400,000, uh, 400,000 jobs. So that is a, uh, a bit of good news. We'll see how it reacts in the market. Uh, right now we want to check in with Byron York. And uh, Byron's going to be one of those... Uh, Questioners, one of those panelists tonight at the big Fox debate in Iowa, all the Republican candidates in advance of the of the, the straw poll in Iowa are going to get together and answer questions. It's a chance for them to sort of break out, to make an impression upon uh, the voters. Uh, Byron, thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, guys. Good to be here. All right, give me your sense of the, how this thing is going to go, and, and let me just ask you, what's the first thing that you want to know as you begin questioning these people who want to become president of the United States? Oh, the questions are a top secret, but, I mean, it's no no uh, no secret that, uh, obviously, we're going to be asking about the top news of the day. Everybody's extremely concerned about all sorts of issues in the economy. Uh, as far as... Um, this debate goes it's it's super important for these candidates because it comes 48 hours before the Ames straw poll we're here in Ames and it's going to take place right next door to where the straw poll is actually going to be right. and uh, I can tell you having traveled around Ottawa for a few days now there are so many Republican voters who are undecided at this point it's really? the most fluid it's the most fluid race you've ever seen as a matter of fact on the Amstraw poll, there is, for the first time ever, a write-in line. They didn't used to have those, but they decided to include one simply because the race was so fluid and they couldn't predict what would happen. Because a lot of people are thinking that Michelle Bachman is going to do well. You don't necessarily think that's the case? Well, I, I think it's entirely possible that she'll do well. It's also very possible that Ron Paul will do very well. Um, uh, Rick Perry is hoping to take advantage of that write-in line, mm -hmm. and Tim has the best organization there's no doubt that he has the best organization in Iowa and the straw poll where, where people get on buses provided by the candidates and travel sometimes uh, 60 80 120 miles to Ames organization really counts so Pelini could do quite well I'm curious can you turn on the TV or the radio without seeing an ad for one of these candidates uh, not possible not possible um, at this point uh, Pelini and Bachman seem to be uh, putting the most into that but uh you know mitt romney uh is is hoping even though he's not taking part in it now there's talk about him returning to iowa and doing more campaigning all right now are, but are the ads are they going are they just touting themselves or are they actually going after some other candidates or has it gotten to that point yet it hasn't gotten to that point they're, they're touting themselves and uh uh bashing barack obama mm -hmm. uh, i mean you know the, the audiences it, it's going to be interesting to see what they do tonight. They're, they're all all the, the candidates are going to have to make a decision. Um, are they going to, shall we say, contrast themselves with the other GOP candidates? Are they just going to talk about their own record and, and go after the president? Uh, you know, uh, are, are they worried about how voters will view them if they do one and don't do the other? Uh, they've got a lot of calculations to make tonight. Well, the absence of rick perry has been something that's much talked about he actually just did an interview put up with mark halpern this morning edging even closer to saying this is something i want to do and it, the story put out by some iowa republicans the other day was that iowa republicans might be mad at him for announcing on saturday if that's what he does is that a sense that you get well that's actually true um the, what what happened was the, the straw poll is a long planned long awaited event it's on saturday everybody knows it's on saturday rick perry uh, decides to go to South Carolina and leaves, lets out word that he's going to kind of make clear his presidential um, ambitions, which is a, a, a nod, nod, wink, wink uh, way of saying he's going to announce he's going to run for president. A lot of people in Iowa thought he's trying to upstage the straw poll. He's trying to just uh, steal the thunder from the straw poll and get the headlines for himself. They didn't like that. And as a matter of fact, the Perry camp was surprised at a lot of the blowback they got from Iowa. Perry is now coming to Iowa on Sunday, the next day, and he's going to be here, be here for a few days, actually be here in Tuesday hmm. when Barack Obama comes to, to uh, northeastern Iowa. 
And I'm sure that's on purpose to say, hey, I'm the conservative and this is Barack Obama and he's the liberal, and you can clearly see the yeah. difference between the two. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think he wants to be like the, the most successful governor standing there in his cowboy boots, uh, you know, toe-to-toe with a president who's sliding in the polls. The interesting thing is he may have much of the stage to himself, Perry, because uh, Mitt Romney will not be in the state. Uh, Michelle Bachman will be in South Carolina. Tim Pawlenty uh, might not be here either. So he might get what he wants, which is kind of a solo, you know, a mano a mano, uh, Rick Perry versus the president. All right. Now we hear that Sarah Palin is going to make a trip into Iowa. Do we have any <laughs> idea why she's going to Iowa? Yeah, that's, what is that sort of a head scratcher, isn't it? Yeah, as if things weren't wild enough. I mean, we, we only found out about that yesterday. Um, yeah, she's going to do, uh, all of a sudden the bus tour, and I guess maybe we should have predicted this, the bus tour is going to pick up again uh, in Iowa, and she'll go to the Iowa State Fair, which is opening now, uh, just uh, east of Des Moines. It's uh, you know an institution, and uh, every four years uh, all of the candidates are there all the time. So um, uh, all of a sudden Sarah Palin has jumped in this just to introduce a little bit of an X factor into it. Hmm. Now, on, on Perry, is it possible that because he's getting blowback from Iowans that he doesn't announce in South Carolina and he may wait till he uh, gets into Iowa before saying he's definitely in? It been, well, he's, as uh, I think Mary Catherine said, he, he almost announced to Mark Halperin. Right. I yeah. mean, this, is, this is not the kind of thing that it's a secret anymore. Right. So, so he may save some sort of official, he may call it an official announcement and, and do it in Iowa. But he, he did need to... Um, to to uh, talk, he he, did, he needed to sweet talk some people here mm-hmm. in Iowa after his decision to go to South Carolina. Although there are a lot of people who believe that South Carolina is probably the most important state out of the first three: Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. Well, especially if you end up with different victors in uh, Iowa and New Hampshire, then you come to South Carolina, and uh, it's obviously the South is the electoral backbone of the uh, Republican Party. So if you know you don't win there, um, you're not going to win the nomination. John Huntsman's in for the first time, and no one's been talking about Newt Gingrich for quite some time when everyone believed the campaign would, you know, just go away. Um, how is Newt doing money-wise? Do you have any idea? And is he, is he still um, uh, being able to, to raise money? Well, even Newt admitted that um, the, all of the bad news that he got, the Tiffany's kind of stuff, his campaign staff departing en masse, um, it really, really hurt his fundraising, and he said it would take months for him to recover. Uh, he, we know that his campaign is pretty deeply in debt, and uh, a lot of people do not expect him to go uh, the distance here, shall we say. Uh, don't know, don't know how he will do in the straw poll, but he, he was on Greta Van Susteren a few nights ago, and he said, "We'll do as well as we do, whatever that is." <laughs> <laughs> so Newt's kind of doing this Zen Master thing, right. as far as the, uh, it, the aim straw poll is concerned. But, it, you know, if the results turn out bad, then it's going to put pressure on him. It is what it is, as they say. All right, listen, Byron York, thanks for joining us here in the Morning Majority. Always good to have you.